the houses on his kingdoms, on his islands. And that's nice. But wouldn't it be nice to be able to show the client what this house looks like? And you can do that with the touch of the key. And other images that might be as Then you can choose the
Patrick's Bathroom Station over here has these various uh, menu items and has the textual information here. The menu, let's say that we were to zoom this to the right, and let me just do this momentarily. And I'll take it back again. Let's say we're doing this to the right. What's going to happen with these uh, menu items is that Windows will take care of the way it's going to lay it out in the new window. Windows does that for you. The application program simply provides what those menu items are going to be. The application program can also specify things such as what we call pop-down menus, where a particular menu item, such as edit, has various other things that you might want to do with it, delete, edit, format, things of that nature. All this is managed for you. Now, let me show you what's going to happen when I do zoom it to the right. This is going to be um, remanaged by Windows. This happens, this application program also chooses to uh, resize and wrap the words accordingly based on the size. Let me show you what happens now. Sure. The longer I'll do it work as you zoom. The menu items were taken care of by Windows. The application program chose to be informed of the size and wrap their words accordingly. Yeah, it's extremely fast. It's really nice. Uh, I think most of it is done C. I'm not 100% sure. But I think most or all of it. What matters is Yeah, like the bit flip and stuff like that, yeah. That's, um... What can those icons do besides what you have on there? I mean, those icons, like the word processing, spreadsheet, database manager, that's all those icons, those icons. You mean the ones down here? Yeah, the ones down here at the bottom. These are all applications? Each of these, uh, yeah, each one of these is an application program. Each one of these is an application program. Um, each one of them uh, actually is, this is an application program that you see here. It's taking up the whole window where we can get it back to the way it was before. Where it's, let's say, um, only taking a part of the window. The icons represent are the application programs. So it's sort of the, you might think of it as the smallest window that can exist. The little icons, the, things, the things it can do. Yeah, yeah, the application programs. Uh, in this case, what we have here for demo process, demo is things like word processing, the calendar, etc. But any application program, um, you know, we'll have things like uh, TK Solver, I assume. Um, But various applications can be installed. Exactly. So, so there'll be icons on the bottom, and when you want to use them, you just click on them. Exactly. As opposed to sticking your disk in and loading it. Precisely. And when, when you want to use them, you just click down there. When you want to put it back again, let's say I'm finished with this one. I want to put it back down. So you can completely delete it. In the I can completely delete it, That's yeah. The X. Yeah. In fact, well, this one, these I, I took here. What's the little box in the upper right hand corner? I'll show you that in a minute. Let me show you this one. This one is an extra one, so I can delete it. Um, this thing right over here is the, the kill icon, and that just kills it entirely. It doesn't go back down here, it's gone. The session. This thing in the upper right hand corner is session control. It has to do with the entire session. This is a little pop down menu. You can ask for time and date. I'll get you up here. Um, you can ask it to save a session. Let's say you have this particular session. Every time you work on this project, you want your desk to look exactly like that. You can save it, or you can end the session. So an application that doesn't know about this just ends up typing on the whole screen. Exactly. An application that, um, let's say, is currently running for the video RAM, um, currently is not written for Windows, you can still run it under Windows. In other words, you don't have to go taking disks in and out and having to put other systems. You can still run any application program that currently runs under MS-DOS. It can still be run under Windows. In the worst case, where somebody is writing directly to the hardware, in the worst case, what we'll do is we will basically treat an application, let's say this one we're writing directly to the hardware. When it took over, we would treat it as though we had zoomed it. In other words, it would take over the whole screen. Like loading any application. Like loading any application program. It would freeze the rest of them. And when you're through with that, it would be spread at the desk. And then you can choose another. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, 
We are recommending 192K on the 256. You can run for your software. For let's say a few typical for a few typical applications. Yeah. Uh, uh, without application requirements. Oh, without application. Um, why would you want it without application? Well, just what's your overhead? Um, I don't even know it offhand. It would be over here for MS DOS. It would be for Windows. It's probably 30, 40K. I'm guessing that. Um, or whatever else is in there. But is it a virtual? Uh, 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 no, it's not. Management? No, it's not. This is a big shot on a normal PC with floppies, right? That we're seeing right now. What you're seeing right now is just a normal PC with floppies. In our booth, we're only, um, you know, we're only showing PCs. Well, or various other vendors are so running Windows. Wife. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we saw it in one. Yeah, and it's in various other booths. Uh, it's next door in Hill Packers, down the hall, Televideo. So at least the ones close to here, I've, I've checked out. Yeah. Um, it's got the graphics device independent. You can, yeah. yeah. It's very nice. Very nice. Yeah.